This is topic table. Are you eligible to buy a vehicle? What are other options to obtain a car instead of buying a brand new car? Where can we find a user car? How to choose your car from an online site? What you need to be checked in person? And paperwork. Hello, everybody. Thank you for stopping by Yuko Information Channel for White Horse Traveler. Today, I talk how to buy a used car. If you have a good budget, definitely you should buy a brand new car. Honda Civic costs 25 to 30 grand. Not always we can afford to buy a brand new car. I'm not a mechanic, but I have a basic knowledge of car. I'm going to show how to buy a used car. If you have any advice, please leave comment. Are you eligible to buy a vehicle? At first, the most important things we need to check to buy a car is Do you have money? And you can have insurance Money? It can be a shitty question Maybe you can get a car free from uh, your friend Still, you need to pay a car insurance So, second, insurance Car insurance is mandatory in Canada What required to have insurance? Address, SIM card telephone number, and bank account these are tricky to collect if you are just a visitor. In this video clip, I don't talk about how to get address, telephone number, and bank account because it's gonna be long. So please check yourself and prepare it. You might need a social insurance number and a car license. Also, if you have a past insurance record in your country, make sure to bring it and submit to insurance company. It helps your monthly cost. Insurance fee is from $50 to $500 per month. It's kind of expensive. So make sure you are eligible to own a car. What are other options to obtain a car instead of buying brand new car? Brand new car for lease. This option is basically renting a brand new car from dealership for certain lengths of time. The monthly payment for a lease are lower than for a loan. It's usually four years and 20,000 km per year. Even you can buy a vehicle at the end of the lease if you like it. Then last option, buying used car. Where can we find a used car? There is two choice, dealership and private party. Dealership, basically well-maintained vehicle, it's supposed to inspect and repair the vehicle. It is covered with a warranty, it provides a car history check. Private party, Price is cheaper than the other option, even it is negotiable. Cons, most private sellers sell their cars as it is, meaning you are stuck with whatever problem pops up. Possibly of a seller's dishonesty. A lot more footwork goes into finding the right user car from a private seller. The most popular market is online. In Canada, Craigslist, Kijiji, and Facebook Marketplace is most common market. How to choose your car from online site? On website, you can check make, type, year, mileage, and photo image. This is enough information to narrow down your future car. Make, I'm gonna introduce most common brand. From a North American brand, Ford Group, Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC in GM Group, and Dodge Chrysler Flat Jeep Ram in Stallion Corporation. From Japan, Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Mazda, Subaru. From Euro, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Daimler, Audi, Peugeot, Renault, Land Rover, Volkswagen, Stron. From Korea, Kia, Hyundai. North American brand car is the best to repair car because car parts are competitively low priced and are widely on market. The opposite is European brand car. Japanese brand car have a good reputation. It's known long lifetime. Type. What do you use for your vehicle? Commuting to town work, driving dirt road, also for family or for just dating. A big car is good for dirt road and carrying space. A small car is good for fuel consumption and agility. Year and mileage can tell the life of a car. In general, 15 years is the life of a car. Also, 200,000 km is the life of a car. If older or longer mileage, every car part is worn. You have to maintain well. Japanese cars start to break down after 250,000 km, so usually it's sold higher price than the other cars in used car market. Photo image. Check parts damage, car accident trace, rust, window damage, cleanness. Looks no problem, that's good enough. You need to remember, a car seller wants to sell higher price, 
you want to buy a lower price, so you have to be aware of it. Engine and transmission is the most expensive parts. If it breaks down, buying another car is almost only one option. Brake parts, wipers, oil change is pretty much a standard maintenance. You don't need to aware of it. Have to be inspect the other things. That's the next chapter. What you need to be checked in person. Before starting, you need to remember any issue causes more other issues. For example, if coolant system doesn't work and keep driving, it causes engine damage for overheat. So if you find your issue, better to fix as soon as possible before causing another problem. Let's get started. Starting from outlook, this car looks like hit the snow pile. Light works, hopefully just cosmetic damage. There is front glass damage. This crack it might expand among heat and cold in winter time. Tires. Inspect the tires for any wear pattern. If it worn out on the inside, that means tire don't touch ground evenly. Tire lifetime is short. The brake power would be less and slippery. It will be worse if it keep be used. Oil leaking. Leaking oil to ground, that's bad. Oil leaks to parts also is bad sign. You have to inspect a sunny day to check underneath. Anywhere you find wet parts, that's the leaking sign. Behind the tire rim, there is an axle boot. Check that there is no damage. Rust. In snow region, on winter, salt is spread on road to prevent to slip. Salt makes metal rust. Check the all rust parts, especially underneath. Underfoot. Underfoot, in general, what you can check is maintenance level. Rare issue can be found when you start the engine. However, still you need to check how the seller treat the car and for you to drive. Also, you need to check there is no wet parts. That wet meaning leaking something. We can see some. It's washer. Even we don't have washer fluid, it's fine. Just we buy and we add more. Washer fluid is cleaning front glass with wiper. So this is battery and we need to just check the battery here, here. Sometimes there is, you know, it's blue, blue bubble stuff comes out. This is good. This is good. This is no rust and no cable broken. So now wash your fluid battery and going to up. This is brake fluid. Looks like we are good to amount. Yeah. We have a good amount. It need to have almost top. And the color is good. And the coolant. This is coolant. We have enough coolant. It's coolant. We can check the here how much we have. It's now I can see the between low and full, so it is good. And this is engine oil. To check the engine oil, we go to here. This is engine oil. This color is very dark now, so it's time to change. Its amount is between between two lines, just too dark. We checked brake oil and engine oil. Next, we need to check steering oil. Mica use electric steering system. For hydraulic steering system car, you need to check steering oil level. Cold weather specification. In Yukon, temperature be between minus 15 to minus 45. Engine oil get frozen and battery get died. There is cold weather equipment. Engine block heater, battery blanket, and pan oil heater. Battery blanket to warm up battery. Winter time in Yukon become minus 35 and 40. If staying under minus 20 place, you have to have battery blanket and pan heater. That's what's for heating engine oil pan. Air filter, check with cleanliness. Every 10 months you need to change need to be very tight yeah it's good tight it can't be removed no actually this is a belt it's getting you can see the you can see the belt crack so this is kind of old 
serpentine beard I have to change it yeah let's start the engine if inside of car is dirty that means it's not well maintenance the car if not maintenance the worker it might have a problem anytime soon checklist dashboard lamp wiper heater windows doors seat belt lights brake transmission engine sound steering wheel and everything check engine light the check engine light means that one of the many sensors monitoring your car has noticed a problem with the engine stability control light your stability control system is either partially or fully off brake system warning light you see an exclamation mark with circle around it that means something is wrong with your brake often you just forgot to unlock handbrake ABS sensor warning light although it is related to the brake system the ABS warning light does not signal a failure of a physical brake instead this signal on issue with anti-lock brake system coolant level warning light your car is probably overheating coolant level warning light is on with blue color you need to wait to drive until the light is off blue light meaning engine oil is not heat up enough yet especially you come winter you have to wait from 10 minutes to can be 30 minutes can be one hour to heat up and the blue light off you don't wait the blue light off engine gonna get damaged airbag warning light it can indicate a problem with any number of items including the sensor that the detector crash and deploy air bugs in the event of accident have failed. Battery light. You are currently powering your car on battery alone. When the engine isn't on, the alternator isn't actively charging the battery. Engine oil pressure light. It signifies that oil is not circulating properly through the engine. Seat belt light. Door light. All good. Then we check now. You need to check air conditioner, heater. Especially in Yukon, summertime you don't need air conditioner, but winter time really you need a heater. Front glass get to fog. For anti-fog, you need to have a heater. We check now wipers, front and back and washer fluid. Then indicator light, left, also brake light, axle light. Then you need to check all light, front light, back light, low beam, high beam, fog light, everything. It's better you go to check car with friend because you cannot check front and back light and indicator, everything. Check clutch, if not a standard, just brake. Brake is working good. Check engine sound. Maybe you don't have any idea good engine sound. So you need to just remind your friend car or your parents car what kind of sound make. And is it different from noise? It's really loud or screaming sound or like not rhythmical? That could be not good sign. Transmission. When you start to drive, gear changing is smoothly automatically. If it's standard, it's going to smooth to change gears. That you need to check front and second and third and the back. Engine and the transmission is the most important part of car. If it is broken, often it need to be replaced and price gonna be three, four, five thousand. Steering wheel inspection. You go drive on highway, take off hand from a steering wheel for 10-15 seconds. Car keep going straight, that is good sign. If handle shake and going right and left, that is steering wheel is not stable, that is bad sign. Slightly moving to right side, that is still okay because highway road is not completely flat. Center of highway road is a little bit high and edge is a little bit low. This is because of drainage measures. So far, I talked how to inspect a used car before buying. This checklist is pretty much basic. Even you inspect everything, still it may break down in a year. If you don't inspect by yourself, you can bring it to mechanic for pre-purchase inspection. It costs about 200. They make an inspection report. Private used car has no 100% guarantee. However, buying a used car is popular because the most reasonable price and insurance fee is cheap. Paperwork. Now you found your car. You accomplish a paperwork. It becomes officially yours. Keep a VIN. VIN stands for vehicle identification number. Take a photo of VIN. You can make stolen car check by VIN. It costs about $10 on website. Insurance. You need to provide a valid car insurance for our car registration. You go insurance company website or insurance company office in your town. About coverage, I recommend a great liability insurance for personal injury and property. However, your car damage, 
globally, it doesn't much help when it compared to the cost of you pay for a low price car. Also, claiming for property damage often it doesn't much help too. There is a case that a lady scratched her neighbor's car in Canada. It cost 1700 If you claim to your insurance company, it would compensate it, but from the next month, you have to pay $150 more every month for a year. Also, you will have a claim record. For application, don't forget to submit your past insurance record in your country, also your car license. In BC, a vehicle registration and insurance application is a set. You pay the fee of registration and insurance to the BC government office. Registration. You submit a field document and valid car insurance at the office. The same day you get a registration, you are officially car owner. This is the whole process of buying a car. In North America, a vehicle is almost mandatory for countryside life. There is some crazy driver and wild animals on road. Weather also harsh. Accident make your life ruin and someone's too. So please carefully drive and enjoy your car life. Thank you for watching. If you have a question, please leave it comment. Have a nice drive day.